Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this live stream video here at the property in front of me. Now this is located on a road called Shinfield Road uh, or it's just off Shinfield Road I should say it's in a place called Westlands Avenue and I'm just turning around slowly to give you an idea of the area. Uh, please excuse my voice um, and uh, uh, the wind noise but we will head on. So out the front here we've got parking certainly for two cars if not three. There is a bit of side access as well which I'll just show you down here uh, before we head into the property proper. Um, and there's a back gate which leads onto a garage and I'll show you that in just a moment. So with these live stream videos for those that don't know you are uh, feel free to ask any questions and I will do my best to answer them. You can also uh, you are also able to book viewings uh, privately uh, for yourself uh, from these videos as well um, before we head on in. So the home itself uh, three beds it is a semi-detached property and around the corner from Westlands Avenue, you are close to Junction 11 of the M4. You have got the hospital and university close by as well. So as we come in to the front, um, there's this lovely little porch, great for storing coats, muddy shoes, and um, for keeping door-to-door -door salesmen away. Heading in to the entranceway, and we have the uh, stairs heading on up, and we'll go up there in a moment. But straight ahead of us, just open the door up, is a downstairs shower room. Just turn the lights on. So in here, we've got quite a modern shower, looking shower through it all there. There is an extractor fan and heater. Uh, sorry, extractor fan. There is gas central heating in this one here as well. Oh, there's myself, hello. Um, all your meters are in this cupboard under, underneath and there's the gas rad just there for you as well. So, in, walking in backwards, into the main reception room and once upon a time this would have been three individual rooms and you get the feeling for that from these uh, archways throughout. The total length of this one is, 20, is about 29 feet on there, so really good size. Um, to the front there's this squared off sort of bay window. I'll just pull the net curtain to one side to view out over there. It is double glazed. And there's, you've got one, two, uh, three gas rads in this, uh, in this part of the property. So to the rear here. So I suppose this is like, um, uh, I, I suppose like an extension of the kitchen. There aren't huge amounts of storage spaces in the kitchen, but there's sort of all the drawers and what have you there. There's a view out of the garden and we'll head up there and the garage as well. But this is the kitchen here. So the boiler as well. So everything has been turned off. This is a vacant property, so there is no one with chain, which is fantastic. Um, it does need some work. It does need some TLC. I, the owners are aware of that um, and they accept it. However, the potential in here is fantastic. So the garden itself, as we head on out, Oh, questions coming in. So the garden I can see here, it's a hundred, it measures in approximately 104 feet. Um, and we'll just head on back. I won't go all the way down because it is quite a large garden and with the great British summer weather, uh, it is a little wet underfoot. So, but gives you an indication as to just how big it is. And as I said, you can hear, <clears throat> despite the fact that we're close to the main road um, and the motorway isn't too far away, it's lovely and quiet and you hear the birds more than anything else. So looking back towards the property, 
I'm just going to show you next door, give you an idea of the size of the extension that they've done. So they've basically brought the property back to, uh, to, to the back end of this garage here. So it gives you an idea that you could quite easily do a huge extension um, to make it a really quite, an, quite a, a large family home. So there's your side gate again, and just opening up the garage. And in here, so it's concrete slab. Good dry garage. There is electrics in here by the looks of it as well. I, I will admit I haven't tested the, the electrics um, to see if they're working. But I think they probably run off a, uh, an extension cord from the house. Outdoor tap. And then back on in. So that's the downstairs. There's, as I said, it's a lovely large uh, welcoming entrance hall um, as well, which is quite good. Uh, means that you've got space there for, um, uh, for coats and shoes again, uh, strollers, those sorts of things. Once we're upstairs, we've got the family bathroom to the left hand side in the lovely green. Uh, colour, slightly more modern looking toilet and then the sink with the mirror. So there isn't an extractor fan here but there is the double glazed, uh, double glazing windows. And the other thing as well is the height of the ceiling mm -hmm. to mention. Really tall ceilings as well which is fantastic. So the bedroom at the top of the stairs, the first one you come to is bedroom two. It's a comfortable double, and if I just stand in one corner and pan around, gives you an idea. Would easily fit a double bedroom, uh, double bed. Sorry, your old airing cupboard as well, and then I'll just show you the garden again, which I think is a real sell feature of this this home. <coughs> So coming on back, so over the stairs you have this storage cupboard and I'll take you into the small bedroom. So this is the box, it is a single, there is no doubt about it, but I can see, I can imagine this being turned into a dressing room, nursery, home office, something like that to the front. Possibly, um, if you know a good architect, you could convert this into an ens a small room into an ensuite for this here, which would, which is your main bedroom. So this is a larger double, and again, it's got that squared off bay to the front, lets lots of light in as well. Just standing in the corners, just to try and give you guys an idea of how big this room is. Very comfortable double bedroom. And then the look out over the drive and the quiet close. So round the corner, um, you've got a junior school, um, which is walkable. You've got um, Leighton Park School, Crossfields, not too far away either, some highly prestigious schools. You're also in catchment for some other uh, amazing um, uh, junior and secondary schools uh, if if that's what you need and um, also as well you can uh, you're not far from the hospital uh, university and then just around the corner from the home literally literally like a three minute walk you have got local shops there's a garage uh, and uh, there's a Tesco's as well so you're really close to an awful lot. There is an attic. I'm just going to show you the, uh, there we are. So there's the attic, there's the loft hatch. Um, it isn't boarded or it's partially boarded, um, not officially. Um, and there isn't a ladder uh, to go on up. As I just come back down. Ow, managed to bang myself on the banister. All right.
And then again, just standing in the corner, give you an idea. So that's the home, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this all but brief tour around. Um, as I said, if there are any other questions, do feel free to give me a call um, and we will be in touch very soon. Um, if you want to come and have a private view of this one here as well, do please get in touch, give me a call. Um, any damp issue. So this little bit here, um, it, the issue has been rectified. There was a crack in the downpipe, which was outside. If I go out, I might be able to show you. Um, that has been fixed and it's drying out. So there was a problem. With that, there was a problem with the pipe up there. That's all been fixed, I'm, I'm assured. So it's now dried out. It doesn't feel damp. It doesn't feel damp down here at all. Running my hand along it, I can't feel anything. It is all nice and dry. Um, and I think it just needs to be scraped down and repainted. Um, this, isn't an, uh, this isn't an auction property. And the, um, so there was an extension done, but we're talking nearly 30 years ago um, and it would have been this bit here uh, where the flat roof is so this is so this archway here indicates the old outside wall and this is now we're now standing in the extension um, but as I said this would have been done this, this was done a long long time ago um, for it all so if there's no other questions in there, or if you do think of something after this one, after this video has been finished, um, do get in touch with the office. Or um, if you missed the video or you want to have another look at it, this will be showing up on our YouTube channel a wee bit later. Um, so this is on as a guide price of 350 and um, I do encourage you to come on out and have a look at it. I don't think this video really shows off um, the potential in here. So please do get in touch. I'd love to show you around privately and uh, I look forward to seeing you at the next video. All the best and take care. Bye bye.